Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. It's St. Patrick's Day right around the corner. I want to show you some fun activities that you can do in person or with the use of a computer. So stick around and we will check them out. The first activity I want to share with you is Codable. If you have not used this website or app, this is a great resource. There are so many free components to it and your students can easily begin coding. They can make their own logins and they can use their, their little cute fuzzy and get it to go through the maze and reach all the different stars. My students absolutely love using this activity. And they have some fun St. Patrick themed challenges and an awesome little mini lesson that I will link below that is free that you can use with your classroom. So check that out. Your students can make their fuzzy turn green and have a St. Patrick's Day hat and all this other fun stuff. So I hope you will check them out because they are really a super awesome website that you can teach basic, basic coding with these simple steps. You will see that your students will um, grasp it so quickly by moving these arrows and making their fuzzy roll along the path. If they make a mistake, it will pop up and alert them, which is super easy for them to realize and they can just try again. They usually will flag and they teach all sorts of things such as looping, um, bugging, so it's really great. I hope you like this one. Another fun activity I love to do every year with my students are STEM challenges. I created some fun STEM challenges just with little St. Patrick's Day theme. A basic one you can always do is building a leprechaun trap. I actually have a free one if you want to grab that. I will link it below. You can come up with your own ideas such as taking a gold coins and having your students build a boat that would hold them and float. You can make some type a pot of gold and your students can make a bridge that can hold the pot of gold or a boat that will float the pot of gold. There's lots of fun STEM challenges that you can come up with. So I suggest picking a book and finding something that works in the book, some kind of problem that maybe the leprechaun or character got into that you could turn into a fun STEM challenge with your students. These are some examples of ones that my students have done over the past few years, you can see their creativity and all the things. We even built a tool to pick up gold pieces, and I will link some of these ideas below. If you're looking for a digital activity, I have created building adventures, which are so fun because they have stories and different aspects to them. So your students will go on a little quest to help Lucky the Leprechaun find some gold. They will move through the slides, whether it's Google Slides or Seesaw, and they will build virtually and listen to a little story about the leprechaun. There are also other versions which include a building mat, which is more guided and free um, building for more of a challenge. So this is a lot of fun and a good way to incorporate some digital learning. My next idea is do an old fashioned bingo game. This could be done with paper, or if you're looking to save paper, you can do a digital bingo on the computer. I like to create these on Google Slides, and I can put in pictures or words, and your students can all play together. If you put all of the bingo boards on one slideshow, you can kind of send it off to your students with Google Classroom or Microsoft Teams and your students can all play together. You can use um, shapes like circles to create bingo chips that they can drag onto their boards. So this is another fun and engaging activity that you can do with your class. You can do some more coding. Every year I love to use my Ozobots and I created some St. Patrick themed mazes and my students have to decide what code to use on the path to reach the end of the maze. So this is something that we always like to do. And we also have our drivable robots, like our robot mouse and our Spiro and our Dash. And I print out a nice big mat that the robot can drive along. And in the mat is all different St. Patrick's Day uh, themed pictures and the students 
program their robot to go along the path and then reach the different spots with task cards. So this is a lot of fun because you can have students work as partners or by themselves and one person can grab the task card and the other person can program the robot to move along and they can switch and take turns. So this is a good one that my students always love to do. Yeah. You can also do more fun digital games such as a scavenger hunt or virtual building. These are awesome ways to get your students to connect and um, if you're trying to save paper or do something that doesn't require a lot of prep, this is very easy to do and will get your students up and moving around. So I will link these items below if you're looking for some ready to use activities and I hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Have fun!